Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today I'm going to show you a couple things about the Pebble smartwatch. Now, if you're like me, um, you know, I installed the app that you see up here, the Pebble uh, app with, that says hello. And uh, you use this app to configure your Pebble for the first time. But I was having trouble when every time I left uh, the range of the Bluetooth, I would lose uh, my connectivity to my iOS device, and then I would have to almost do like an entire reset. So I sent an email to the um, Pebble people, and uh, they told me what I should do is I should delete this Pebble app, that's the one you see up here, and pair it Bluetooth first before you even use the app. Because what's going to happen is if you have the app installed on your phone, uh, during the pairing process, it will open up the app, <clears throat> excuse me, and do an update uh, to update the firmware, but you don't want to do that. You first want to connect Bluetooth to your iOS device without the app installed, and then go download the app and then repair again. Uh, then it will do the update for the firmware, and then you'll be able to connect and stay connected, and then when you leave the range and you come back, you'll reconnect automatically. See, because you have to, re you have to connect through Bluetooth settings, uh, and if you do it without the app, it won't jump out of it. It will give you a true connection to the Bluetooth, and it'll also iOS will remember your Pebble. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to let me just show you. I'm running firmware version 1.12. You may not, and you may need to upgrade, but we're going to do that in the near future. So even if you have your Pebble wa uh, watch for a while and you're having the same problem that I'm having, the proper way I'm going to show you now how to set it up. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, uh, we're going to step back. This is the back button, and then you have a center button for select, and then up and down. So I'm going to go down, and I'm going to go to factory reset. So I'm going to reset, and it's going to reset our Pebble and uh, completely erase it. Now it says install and run the Pebble app. No, don't do that. Let's go to our iOS device, and let's delete that app. So I'm going to delete this app. And then this way it won't kick us in uh, to the to the actual app. So let's go back and let's cancel update, it says. And then we're going to go back one more time and we're going to go down to settings. And we're going to go to Bluetooth. Then from Bluetooth, you're going to select that. You're going to turn it on. So now on the phone, we're going to go and select settings. We're going to turn Bluetooth on. Now if you previously paired your Bluetooth... I want you to press the little arrow here and I want you to delete this forget this device so it's gonna forget that you were ever connected to the pebble and now you're gonna see the new one down here in darker black so you're gonna click on that now and now you're gonna pair the pebble uh, and there it is now you pebble is paired we're gonna put our um, we're gonna hit yes we would like to pair on our iOS and then we're going to let that pair, and I'm going to hit the check mark button selection here. So now we're completely paired up to our our uh, pebble, and now we can see that we're connected here, and we're connected on the on the uh, pebble watch itself. So now we can go back, and we can go in and select our faces, of course, and we can go back and make sure the time is set correctly. So we're going to go down into settings, and we're going to do date and time. I prefer to do it 12 hour, because uh, I live in the United States here, and I'm not in the military. And um, the, the date is correct already, so we're all good with that. Let's back out. So basically, and I'm going to keep that watch face. And later on, I'm going to show you videos on how to customize your watch with watch faces that you can create online with a web app. Um, not a lot of people know about this. They probably get their watch faces downloaded from the actual official Pebble app. And then also I'm going to show you jailbreak apps that make you so that you can use Siri and you know you have all more notifications. And we're also going to use uh, you know a whole bunch of things. So now we're going to come out and let me just show you something. Now I'm going to download the Pebble app now. Um, I hope that you're going to hit the subscribe button and uh, you know this way. You can find out all the things that I'm doing with my Pebble watch, uh, especially if you're interested in doing jailbreak, uh, you know, tweaks and things like that. 
So now here's the Pebble, the official Pebble smartwatch app. And let's open it up now. And you're going to see that all you have to do is get the update. And what's going to do is it's going to update automatically. You're already paired to your Pebble watch. So now it's going to do a quick update. I'm telling you folks, this is the best way to do it. You have to pair with Bluetooth first before you install this app. And it's so much better that way. Uh, I was having you know trouble. I, uh, you know, I emailed Pebble and uh, they came up with a nice remedy. And I, I wanted to make a video about it to show you the proper way to set up your Pebble watch. So this is going to take a while, but I'll fast forward the video now. Okay, we're just about done here. And now we're going to see what it does. It's waiting for your pebble to load back up the software. And in case you haven't seen my uh, unboxing of the Best Buy, this is a Best Buy um, pebble watch. Okay, so now we got a nice check mark there. And it's going to say hello. Um, you just updated your Pebble version 1.12.1. So we're all set with that. Now we're going to scroll through and see what they want us to do. So we'll go into settings. And what we have to do next now is we have to go into iOS and click settings. And we're going to go back to our notifications. And they want us to throw the Pebble app. Now let's go right to the bottom here. And let's make sure the Pebble app is here and that it's on. Okay? You see here, off, on. So we'll make sure it's on. And I put it as a banner. And that's pretty much it. So we just had to make sure that that was on and that it was in notification. And the last thing you want to do is you want to go into Bluetooth. And where it says Pebble and it's connected, you want to click and you want to show notifications. Now you'll be able to close everything out and your Pebble should be A-OK -okay, ready to work. So basically you can click here. See here it says connect it. Here you can see your Pebble 5E99 is connected. And you can test out SMS. And you can test out a phone call obviously dismiss it from there and you got your little text there and you're good and that's it now we can go over and we can install uh, jailbreak tweaks and stuff like that and you'll see that in my next video and then I'll also show you how to make nice watch faces uh, any watch face you want with any picture you have and that will be the video after the jailbreak video and there's a lot to talk about runkeeper which is a really great app a bunch of apps that connect to your pebble with bluetooth and transmit all the data and uh you know you get all the information on your pebble watch so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you you know this helps you with the problem of connectivity to your pebble watch to your ios so i hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.